This Korean small car beat all sales records among classmates on the Russian market, and now on the secondary market. What should you look for when buying a used bestseller? The secret of this model's success lies in the combination of price, quality, and consumer properties. And this is not surprising, because the Koreans created the machine, taking into account the tastes of the fastidious inhabitants of the old world. Hence the simple classic lines of the exterior, and quite spacious for its class, strict interior, and the optimal balance between handling and comfort. The car was produced as a three- and five-door hatchback. There are much fewer three doors on the market, they appeared only in 2004. Gets installed gasoline engines with a volume of 1.1 liters, 62 horsepower, 1.3 liters, 82 horsepower, and 1.6 liters, 105 horsepower, as well as a 1.5 liter turbo diesel, 82 horsepower. We only sold petrol versions. Since 2004, the power of the 1.1 liter and 1.3 liter engines has increased to 67 and 97 horsepower, respectively. The standard gearbox is a 5-speed mechanics, a 4-speed automatic was combined with all gasoline engines, except for the 1.1 liter. Compact on the outside, the Hyundai gets is quite spacious on the inside thanks to its tall body. Moreover, the front is quite at ease even for tall people, but the rear passengers will be a priori cramped for the three of them, primarily in width, and there is not very much space at the feet. By and large, space in the gallery is only for two. The trunk is small, but it is quite sufficient for loading packages from the supermarket. In addition, the rear seat backs fold down to form a fairly roomy compartment with a flat floor. Most of the cars on the secondary market were bought new from Russian dealers, where Gets is presented in two basic trim levels. The basic version of the GL includes power steering, driver's airbag and power windows. The GLS variant is noticeably richer, it also has ABS and air conditioning. However, there may be nuances, the more powerful the motor the wider the list of useful and convenient little things available to the first owner. In particular, in most versions there is only audio preparation, and in the top 1.6 liter, regular music. Engines are not so complex in design and, as a result, unpretentious in operation. True, they require only timely, once every 15,000 kilometers, maintenance. The most expensive is every 60,000th regulation, where, in addition to changing the oil and filters, about 3,000 rubles, the timing belt and tensioner rollers are updated, about 8,000 more rubles. This operation should not be neglected, a broken belt, and therefore an expensive repair of the motor with an overrun of only a few thousand km, is far from uncommon. Along with the timing belt, every 120,000 kilometers, the water pump should also be updated, from 1850 rubles, so that later you do not pay twice for work. Candles, from 480 rubles per set are designed for an average of 40,000 kilometers, but they can withstand so much only when refueling with high-quality gasoline. Crankshaft position sensors, from 870 rubles, and various relay regulators periodically fail, but the elimination of breakdowns is by no means expensive. There are usually no problems with gearboxes, at least the first 150,000 kilometers. They require only regular oil changes, automatic transmission every 45,000 kilometers, and mechanics, half as often. But when buying a car with a gun, it is better not to neglect its diagnostics. This expensive unit, if misused and driven aggressively after 100,000 kilometers, can fail. And often the burden of spending on repairs falls on the second owner. The suspension, with front McPherson struts and a semi-independent beam at the rear, is quite durable, and a calm driving style significantly increases the replacement intervals for consumables and spare parts are widely available and low cost. For example, rear shock absorbers, 4,000 rubles per set, often fail by 70,000 kilometers. If you heard an unpleasant tapping in the suspension, then it's time to change the stabilizer struts and bushings, 990 and 320 rubles a piece, respectively. This usually happens on a run of 40,000 to 50,000 kilometers. The front shock absorbers, 4,500 rub. Set can withstand 100,000 kilometers usually. By this time, the chassis requires a serious revision, steering tips, 1,700 rubles per pair, and ball joints, from 900 rubles a piece, as a rule, already require replacement. Wheel bearings, 1,700 rubles a piece, begin to buzz closer to 80,000 kilometers. By the way, some riders who immediately park on curbs and, without slowing down, 
overcome tram tracks, change hub bearings twice as often. The steering rack is not at risk. But when choosing a fairly used gets, do not be too lazy to shake the steering wheel from side to side with the engine running. If you feel a backlash, and the seller claims that he recently changed the tips, bargain with him for an amount equivalent to replacing the steering rack, which is about 28,000 rubles. The body is normally protected from rust. However, as with most Koreans, the paintwork is not very durable. Therefore, on the body of the three-year-old's paint chips are already formed on the thresholds, arches, and hood. Engines are not seen in excessive consumption of engine oil, but in some instances it reaches up to 250 to 300 G per 1,000 kilometers. The use of semi-synthetics usually eliminates this problem. Gearboxes. When choosing a version with an automatic transmission, be sure to make a test drive. There should be no jerks and jerks in the automatic transmission. Otherwise, it is better to refuse the car. In the front suspension, the brake discs are not very durable. In urban driving conditions, discs, 1,500 rubles apiece, have to be updated every 30,000 kilometers, and pads, from 600 rubles a set, twice as often. There is nothing special to brake in the rear suspension. Drum brakes do not require intervention up to 80,000 to 100,000 kilometers, and pads on powerful modifications with disc mechanisms live 50,000 kilometers. Transmission. When replacing the clutch, which serves an average of 150,000 kilometers, the crankshaft rear oil seal should also be updated at the same time, 450 rubles. He doesn't nurse anymore, it's checked.